Hello, test, test. Hey, there's my microphone. Forgot to turn my mic on before I started recording. Hello, everybody. Welcome to today's Minecraft tutorial video. Now, um, when I first got a YouTube channel, I tried to build this thing exactly as you're seeing right here. But, uh, I didn't have a good computer at the time, so I never posted the video. But, I have made a few changes to this anyway. You guys probably haven't seen the video either. But, I'm going to be showing you guys how to build a secret staircase uh, inside of Minecraft. And, uh, all it requires is an item of your choice and an item frame. Well, it costs a little bit more than that, but, well, yeah, I'm just, I'm just going to tell you when we are finished exploring it so basically you open it up you come downstairs and you have a secret base now we have a secret base and i uh, i actually found some emeralds down here unintentionally but i did um and then you come back up you can close it if you absolutely want it to be secret you can pick up the two items and just remember where to put them or, if you really want to be sneaky, you can use a command to make the item frame invisible by going data, merge, entity, and then the entity you're looking at. So you want to make sure you're looking at the item frame before you type this in. I'm going to click on this one, and then squiggly opening bracket, invisible, 1B closing bracket, and don't forget the colon in the middle. And it makes it invisible. You can still put stuff in it. It's just invisible now. It also doesn't have a collider anymore. So now the item is flush with the wall. Instead of typically being flush with the item frame. As you can see the item is one pixel off. But for showcase purposes we will leave this here. So yeah, you can flip this to the highest position, and you can open up your staircase, flip it once, and it's gone. Uh, you can also change what, like, say you wanted it to be, like, down in this corner. You would just grab this torch and move it back a few blocks. However, I think you can see the issue with that. If you move it back too many blocks, it doesn't work as well. So, well, I guess this has to be exactly nine blocks away for it to work. Um... But yeah, so now we're going to to build the redstone contraption. So what you're going to need is you're going to need these things that I'm currently have in my hopper. You're going to need oak planks, oak stairs, redstone dust, a redstone torch, redstone repeater, a redstone comparator, some sticky pistons, an item frame, and an item of your choice. It doesn't matter. I just picked a sky, uh, spy glass. So now we're going to build it. So we're going to build the wall. has to be at least two blocks tall. Uh, minimum two blocks tall. I'm just going to make it three blocks tall. All right. And then pick where you want the door to open. So... I want the door to open, like, right here in the middle, so you want to break those blocks, and then behind them, you want to place pistons, uh, sticky pistons, one block of air between where the wall will be and where the piston is, and then you want to fill those back in, and to the left, the bottom most block, you want to place an item frame, with the item of your choice in it. And you want to go behind that, and you want to place a comparator. You also want to clear the area of the 
Uh, but if this is going to be in a house, you shouldn't have to clear any areas. Uh, one sec, just fill in this hole. Anyway, all right. So now that you have your comparator, your and your piston laid out, you want to place a redstone here, and then a redstone repeater. Make sure it's set to one tick. Doesn't actually matter what tick you set it to. But then you want to place um, the oak planks here, a redstone torch on top of that, plank on top of that one, and then you want to make a little L, like a reverse L shape that hits all the pistons, and then you want to line the top of that with redstone. Um, and then you, like, one block away from, well, two blocks away from the block below this uh, redstone torch. So with one block of air in between them, you want to place a red, another redstone torch. And you want to run redstone through the comparator. And now basically what it's doing is it's comparing the two values that you have set for it. So... The current value of this spyglass is 1. When you set it to 9, the ninth position, it becomes 9 or 10, I believe. Well, let's see. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So there are 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There are 8 spots. So, in the 8th spot, it... It's comparing the redstone strength of the torch. It's comparing the redstone strength of the torch compared to the uh, redstone strength of the item in the item frame. So when the... Let me just set the time to day so we can see. When it is... When it has a higher redstone value than this redstone right here does, it will uh, allow the current to go through the comparator and into the uh, redstone repeater, which will turn off the redstone torch, which will turn off these redstone pieces, which will turn off and retract the sticky pistons, which will retract your wall. And now you can place stairs. If you want stairs, I'm just going to place stairs like that, just for um, showcase purposes. We're not going to build a basement. Um, so now, the wall is open and you want to close it. You flick this once and it is now closed. Um, it closes because now this, the strength of the item that's in the item frame is weaker than the strength of this redstone torch. And I'm kind of stupid. If you move it farther away, it creates a more, like, you can open it sooner with this. However, you can tell now it's in the bottom corner. However, it can't be this. It can't be any. Well, it can't close with any strength afterwards of, until it gets back to its default of one. So you can set this to however you like it, but I'm just going to keep it at its maximum strength. So to open it, it has to be up all the way. And also, another thing, if you want to hide this very. Uh, very quickly, I'm just going to put a redstone torch in there. You can do that same command. Um, let's just get rid of this one. Put in that one and make it invisible. Now it looks like a regular wall. However, if you either remember where the item frame is, or you start placing it until it goes in the item frame, you can find it and then rotate it around until it opens. And then if you want it to close, you just remove it and it will close again. 
However, I am going to just make this a regular item frame. And that is how you make a hidden staircase. Um, I made this hidden staircase when I was like seven, no, I was like eight or nine years old. And I wanted to show it to everybody on the internet, but I didn't have a good computer, so I couldn't. But yeah, that's how you make a hidden, a uh, hidden, um, secret staircase door. Um, and yeah, now you can build your basement down here, you can store your valuables, like your, uh, your diamonds or something. I actually ran into the other side of this, so it could be another way to get into this area. However, uh, people would notice this, so I would recommend not putting this next to a cliff. Um, and if you end up, if you end up building it the other way, so if you end up building the staircase, say, this way, we'll just fill it in with dirt, so we can mod that. If you end up building it like this, it'll end up with the same result, just be careful with this block right here, because this block has the comparator on it, and if you break it, your comparator will fall off, and you will have to place a new one. Um, same issue if you're redecorating the area with, say, oak planks, and you have it the other opposite facing direction. So the stairs are down here. Uh, like this. Like the stairs are like this. Uh, again, be careful with this block, because if you break it, as you can see, you are now trapped in here, and you will need to break out, grab a comparator, and place it down again to open it. So, yeah, be careful with decorating the, uh, the tunnel. Um, well, yeah, that's basically everything on this YouTube tutorial. I thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy, please like and subscribe. It helps me out a ton. And I hope to make more redstone tutorials in the future. Alright, thank you guys. Peace.